Oh, he's launching. I see him. I am, I am. Oh, okay, I don't see you on my screen. Shoot. I, see I got him. Destroyed. Nice. That's <laughs> one down. There's a Vanguard coming in. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he wants to do here. Turn your turret off and back on again, just because uh, I can see your, see your shots then. You see mine now? Yep. Just a little wa wave moving here. To the left straight as I kind of walk around him. Shoot for his uh, starboard engine. Let's just snap the engine off. See if we can style on this guy a little bit. Oh, almost in position. Actually, we got more guys working in, so maybe we should just end them. Now let's just kill him. Alright, Town Bone Crusher. Arrow, we'll go for the arrow. The other guy is at 2k, so we'll drop some flares to get rid of those missiles, and we'll go for we'll go for this uh, Mustang Alpha. Okay. Push, push towards them. Got the angle, got the pre-turn. This is their chance. Yep. Target destroyed. Okay, got him. On oh, bone crusher. Yep. I see a bone. Hold the fire, hold the fire, hold the fire. Let's see if I can't bait him in. Master baiter. Master bait. Advance that was over. Here we go. So if, if you're in an arrow, guys, and you're trying to attack a gladiator, what you don't want to do is exactly what Bone Crusher is doing here. You don't want to stay at range, because I can get my Target gun destroyed. and my turret on you. There we go. How many did we waste just there? You know, despite the classification of the gladiator being a fighter bomber, this thing can really kick some ass. Uh, it was a lot of fun to fly this thing, and I think this is going to be the first of a three-part series. Uh, on the gladiator but this particular fight and we ended up fighting i think it was five or four what is it saber yeah i think it was four four v one in this situation um and because they all didn't come at us together uh, you can see we can kind of take them off in bite size you know bite size numbers here right um this saber here yeah, again right if you engage at too high of a speed what ends up happening is um, your ability to move around enemy fire is reduced. So the faster the ship, the easier you are to hit, as long as you can maintain the distance. And that's really the catch. So this Vanguard that we're engaging here, you'll see, um, is going to choose to go again at, at ludicrous speed. A lot of these pilots in the Persistent Universe, everyone's flying with their speed limiters unlocked. And you can see I'm just doing a simple wave pattern here, a little bit of up strafe, a little bit of roll as I kind of just walk around him as I'm avoiding almost all of his fire. As I slowly kind of inch my way forward into a position that I well, obviously am enjoying. Um, in this case, we didn't initially want to kill this Vanguard. We thought just take his wing off, but um, we did notice a few more contacts showing up. So we thought, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just end it right there. <laughs> but again, right? Not attacking as a group. Um, you know, it's if you want to take down big targets, man, you got to be able to attack as a group, and which means you got to be within about a thousand meters of everybody. So here we're looking around, we're looking at which one of these guys is at a high enough energy state, and in a position that we can pre nose onto, so we can get the distance to get the kill. 
the the va like the not the bagger the gladiator is a insanely tough ship um again this mustang makes the big mistake of trying to turn his nose away from me um but it's already too late because i've already gained the range he should have noticed that i was pre-nosing onto him and broke the other direction but because he didn't notice that i got the distance on him and his buddy here again at a high at a high energy state is not able to close in and help him so now it's a 2v1 essentially because i've got a turret gunner and we've got a gladiator with about five six times the hit points of an arrow uh, and again right we'll roll ourselves into a pitch mark ourselves on the target and there's the splash so please when you're you know when you're attacking a target and the persistent universe guys if you you know for you some of you folks out there that are wanting to get into the security aspect of a game if you want to get into piracy your range control is super important regardless of the ship right um a gladiator if all of these the saber the vanguard the Mustang and the um, Arrow, if they had all had grouped up together and been a little more coordinated, um, taking out a Gladiator would have been trivially, trivially easy. Um, but again, right, it, it all comes down to your range, control, and discipline. If you move as one cohesive unit, as one squadron, I don't really think there's a ship out there that can stop that kind of coordination. So teamwork, <laughs> one could say the best ship in Star Citizen is friendship. <laughs> So I hope this was an enjoyable video, guys. Again, nothing too crazy as specifics other than I wanted to drive home the fact that if you're going to fly and attack somebody, fly as a team. Fly together. All right. That's it for today, guys. I hope to see you out for stream. Thank you so much for all the support. Take a check at, at uh, Predator Mounts if you're interested in getting mounts for your joysticks. Make sure you leave a like. Smash that subscribe button. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video.